record yet. Ow! Ooh. Sorry about that, guys. Hey, lovelies, welcome back to the channel. And today I grabbed some goodies from Target, and the goodies are Makeup Revolution X DC. <laughs> I'm hella excited. This is the Target bag and we're just gonna be doing, get over there, and we're just gonna be doing a quick review. They didn't have the whole collection, they only had some. So I grabbed three palettes and one highlighter. I'm gonna be only swatching two of the palettes and the highlighter because the third palette is actually gonna go in today's giveaway, yeah. And I'll talk about that in a little bit, but my face is done and my bras are done. Let's just go ahead and get right into it because I've been wanting to dig my little fingers in them since I got them last night. Yeah, okay, first of all, the packagings are hella cute. Let me see if I can have all of them up at the same time. My tiny hands might not let me do that. Okay, be patient with me here. So those are all the items that I grabbed that I'm going to be going through today. Well, except this one. Let's go through the Harley Quinn one first because whew, that's the one I'm excited about the most. By the way, let me know how you guys are doing, how your weekend has been so far in the comment section below. And this is the packaging. Look how pretty that is. I can't wait for the makeup bag that goes along with this packaging to be on the either Target website or to be back in stock because as of right now, it has sold out on the Revolution makeup website, the one for the US. So this is the actual packaging. That's how the back of it looks like. And I'm gonna be doing quick swatches for you guys. Whoa, this is hella cute. What? Oh my goodness, this is really cute. So it comes with a nice sized mirror. So pretty. Look at those colors, guys. So it looks like the protector has all the shade names. Why is it taped on there? Watch me like ruin this shadows. You guys see all the shade names right there, right? And those are the shades, guys. It comes with nine shades. This is such a beautiful sized palette. And the fact that it comes with a mirror, it's just the icing on the cake. These pastel shades are just calling my name right now. So it comes with five shimmers and four matte shades. Let me go ahead and swatch them real quick so guys those are the first four shades and look at them they're so bright and beautiful and, and the shimmers are just wow i love those that pink is definitely calling my name today i could have easily done all the shades at once but you know what my demands did not do that i know a lot of people have been saying that they've had bad experiences with makeup revolution formulas and the shades have hard time blending out or they're just not pigmented enough that's not what i'm seeing here so far and guys i'm the queen of like being picky the eyeshadows if you're new here you'll know that real quick and obviously today we're gonna be creating two different eye looks i'm gonna be creating an eye look with the palette i'm swatching right now which is the harley and i'm gonna be creating another eye look with which one was it don't drop it mina not yet the joker which is this one that shimmer what the actual fuck <laughs> these shimmers are so buttery and so blinding what the heck by the way guys, this video is not in any shape or form sponsored or these items were not sent to me by Makeup Revolution but I will not refuse if Makeup Revolution wants to send me their products in the future for review purposes. Thank you Makeup Revolution in advance for that. I really appreciate it. But those were the last five shades in that palette. Those shimmers, I can't get over. I feel like today I'm gonna like suck at creating an eye look because I'm gonna try to use all the shades because all of them so far. I'm late. For them. So that was this palette that we just swatched. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to this one and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the eye look. Actually, you know what? Let's get the highlighter. Oh my goodness, I should not have done highlighter today to test out this one. I'm so mad now. What is the name of this one? So this is the lighter highlighter shade and it is the Batman one and the other one was the Catwoman one and it does come with a mirror. I'm making so much mess today and this is how it looks like. Look at that champagne shade and if you guys don't know me, I'm a sucker for champagne shades. Hold on, before I go ahead and ruin it, look at the Batman in Boston. What? Holy crap. <gasps> I want to do it with you guys. Ooh, that's so smooth and blinding like hi you know what guys i'm gonna go ahead and add it on top of my natasha denona highlighter I, I can't help it sorry okay i'm gonna take this tiny brush because i don't want to go overboard which i tend to go overboard that's beautiful. You guys see it for yourselves. Let me add some on my temple. This was like an $8 highlighter, guys. By the way, I'm gonna go ahead and insert all the prices there so you guys can know what's up. And if you guys wanna pick it up, I picked up this product for my local Target, by the way. If I wasn't blinding enough for you guys, now I am, for real. And by the way, guys, I already ruined the pretty embossing. What's wrong with you, Mina? Why can't you just leave one thing alone? <laughs> 
Assess is glowy AF. Honestly, Makeup Revolution coming through. Seriously though. The first thing I'm noticing is that saying, the joke's on you. <laughs> this is making me really happy. Oh my goodness. Look at the packaging, the detail though. I mean, besides the haha -ha words around it, are you guys noticing that detail right there? I'm usually a person that really suck at noticing details, but I noticed that right away. I was like, that's his evil smile. So once again, he comes with a mirror. I don't know if I'm a fan of the film having all the names. I don't like that. So that's how the actual palette looks like. That blue, oh, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. So this has three shimmers and six mattes. So this has a lot more mattes. And the reason that I chose this palette for the giveaways because I know a lot of people like everyday neutral palettes. That shade is so smooth. Why is it so smooth? Look at that guys. That's almost like a highlight shade. And okay, let me tell you guys a little story. So I was just, you know, minding my own business like I always do. Sure, me now you do. And I saw that Trend Mode was saying that, you know, Makeup Revolution was coming out with a new collection in collab with DC. I was like, nah. I already you know it's gonna be like really boring colors. Makeup Revolution and DC. And I don't even like DC. Okay, guys, don't exit out of the video yet. Not yet, please. <laughs> I don't like DC, but this collection is fire. And I was like, next, scroll down. And when they finally revealed it, they were like, use 20%. I ran my ass to the website and like half of the things I wanted was sold out, but they still had it on the UK website. And I was like, and then I also like, you know, saw that they had a Target. So I ran my ass to Target. They didn't have the mirror there. So I was a bit sad about that. But anyway, I'm a fan of Marvel. But this collection, like I said, is gorgeous. So guys, those are the first five shades. And then let's do the last five. Even the yellow is not too patchy. I mean, it's a bit patchy. But even like with high-end palettes, I noticed that it's very hard to make yellows. I'm living for these shimmers though. Guys, this is literally the last collection that I thought I was going to purchase. Out of all the releases but look at me now so guys kind of ignore like that red stain but look at the rest of the shades <laughs> without any further ado let's go ahead and get right into this eye looks okay guys for the first eye look which is gonna be the right one i'm gonna go ahead and create an eye look with this babe yeah guys it is a babe and this palette is definitely giving me like pastel vibes so i'm gonna go ahead and go for that i've been thinking about creating a pastel eye look recently i want to give this palette a fair chance and i don't know exactly what kind of shape i'm going for so we'll just go with the flow i just want to test out the quality honestly you guys are seeing this right i'm not doing any kind of magic this is all the palette Ooh, that's pretty oh i want this blue next oh, i'm still alive i'm still okay i'm still i it made a purple for me look at that i didn't even have to grab purple i don't even have purple in this palette i lied there's definitely a lilac in this palette so far, I like this. By the way, if it seems like I'm using the same brushes, I might be, but I'm changing the colors with my color switch brush cleaner. And I've actually decided to put that lilac shade in the middle because why not, right? I mean, it's kind of already there anyway from the mixture of the two colors. Here we are now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease off camera and I'll be right back to place a bunch of shimmers on this eyelid. Okay guys, this is the best crease you'll get from me for today at least, but I'm taking this flat brush. Oh, I like this green one. So that's the first shimmer that we'll be taking. I should have sprayed my brush first to see how they would have performed without. Uh... Yes, please. Chunky shimmers who? We don't know her. This is like a minty green, but it's looking like light blue on my lid. And you know what? I ain't complaining. So I'll just stop it right there and let me clean the same brush because you know, your girl is too lazy to look for other flat brushes. But once again, I sprayed the hell out of that flat brush. Mina, get it together. I can't choose between that one and that one, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. I don't have a lot of expectations for this one. Okay. I mean, it's not the best, but it's definitely doing something. I'm being greedy. You guys see this, right? And actually this time, we're not gonna go ahead and spray the brush because I want to test out this and last but not least we don't have a pink shimmer but that's okay what is this color is it like dark blue we're just gonna place it on the end of the eye okay it's a bit chunkier without me spraying my brush okay let's try spraying my brush now maybe I'm just not a fan of this blue get it together blue get it together oh you're kind of disappointing me come on come through <laughs> 
and for the sake of that blue acting like an ass it lost the opportunity of me you know putting it all the way right there it's not working with me so i'm gonna go ahead and put the shimmer i skipped on earlier yep i'm gonna put that at the end please don't be the same i'm begging you oh yeah it was just that blue i guess this eye look is definitely giving me like pastel vibes and i'm living for it let me just go ahead and finish the bottom of the eye with you guys and then finish the rest of this eye off camera and i'll be right back to create an eye look with you guys on the left eye should i like separate them just like how i did my lid yeah maybe we're gonna go ahead and do that so i'm gonna start with the pink so it can be like you know diagonal or whatever this pink is definitely brighter than Nicki minaj's lipstick color look at that you know how many bright colors don't show up on my bottom lashes i love this and one of you guys needs to stop me right now because i think i'm going overboard with it but you know what who cares that's what makeup is for right you want a little too much mina it's okay i'm gonna be taking the same brush after i cleaned it and well i don't want to do the same color though i kind of wanted to do you know what fine i'll do that like like she okay and last but not least we got the blue this palette will definitely go in my favorite section this palette is definitely a keeper this look is making me happy as hell so guys i kind of lost that light like shade in the middle so i'm gonna go ahead and put a little more on there and y'all already know i was saving that last shimmer for my inner corner because you know you cannot not have that popping did i just use a double negative that's what happens when I'm happy. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, I lose myself. God. I'm too hyped today. <sighs> Boo. Look at that shit. So this is a ColourPop cream liner in the shade Prince. And I recently got that in my mystery box. And I love this color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it on my waterline. Come on now, Prince. Don't disappoint me, please. This is why I don't like doing my face first. Yo. Okay, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes on this eye. And I'll be right back to finish this eye with you guys. Alrighty, righty, guys. Let's go ahead and move on to this one. I already primed it off camera. And now it's starting to crease already. But the first shade... <gasps> Is that a hair? Am I losing hair? Oh no, hair loss. Okay, let's go ahead and start with that burgundy shade and build it from there. His evil face is embossed on there. Look at that, guys. How freaking pretty is that? Ooh, and I kind of want to test out most of the shades. That's what I love doing in my reviews to give the palette like a fair chance, I guess you can say. Look how beautiful that's building up. By the way, the only shade that gave me trouble was that shimmer shade. This shade is building up so freaking beautifully. And now I'm taking the bright red. And I kind of will take it like that high. And now I'm diffusing it a bit. Because that was a pigmented shade. These palettes and these shades are definitely one of the easier shades I've ever worked with. And I'm not even kidding. And since I kind of like built a pastel look on this eye. Which is one of my favorite looks of all time. I'm going to go ahead and create a rainbow look. Which is my favorite. If you guys know me. I'm going to go ahead and go with the orange. <gasps> These looks are mostly for like testing out the shades, not like wearable looks. But you can actually wear it, I feel like, right? They don't look that ridiculous. They're blending out so beautifully together. But you know what, Mina? Save your opinions. By the way, for this eye look so far, I only used one brush. I want to take the yellow now. I want to build up that burgundy a little bit more because I feel like I lost some. Guys, I want to cut my crease and pop that neon green on there. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm cleaning up my crease first before I actually cut my crease has been helping out a lot. So if you struggle with cut creases like I do, this is a little trick for you. Okay, that's a start. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease and I'll be right back to play with some more colors. Yeah, so now my cut crease is done. I'm going to take that yellow shade and just stamp it right here because i'm not liking that harsh line right there and why yellow you ask i don't know because i just felt like it and now i'm gonna go back to my burgundy shade which i cannot get over how pretty it is look at that lime green guys okay guys because i'm a greedy bitch i'm gonna go ahead and take this blue shade it's actually a shimmer <laughs> yeah i definitely lost you guys there huh you guys are probably thinking she's a crazy bitch i'm not coming back to her channel it's okay when i said i was testing out as many shades as possible i was not kidding pray for me <laughs> so we're at this point right now we're not done yet <laughs> i need an inner corner pop and i'm gonna be popping this silver shade 
Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Some of that shade on my brow bone as well. Okay, so that blue shimmer was definitely a bit disappointing. It's okay, but this neon green shade definitely made up for it. Okay, guys, we're almost there. Hang in there with me. Guys, because I love this neon green so much, that's gonna be the first shade. On my bottom lashes and red. So I'm gonna do a neon green on the waterline for this eye. If it ever shows up, my audience ain't got all day. We see some of it right now. I'm adding another teal liner. That's a bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes and I'll be right back to share my thoughts and opinions with you guys. But I feel like you guys already have an idea anyway. Stay tuned, don't leave yet. I know I'm doing too much today. I feel like doing too much today. That's why I'm wearing two different lipsticks and don't even try to come at me. But anyway, quick final thoughts and opinions. The shades blended out seamlessly together. The only two shimmers that I was not really happy with was this blue and this blue right here. I mean, they weren't horrible. This was pretty horrible. I'm not gonna lie. This one was decent, but it's not shimmery enough for me personally. I was definitely a fan of all the matte shades. Like, not one of them gave me, I mean, besides the yellow, they gave me a little bit trouble. The rest of the mattes were beautiful, were very smooth, were not patchy at all. I love the size of the palettes. I love that it comes with a mirror and it also has a magnetic closure. Like what else is there to even ask about this? The only con that I have so far is that the shades are not actually on the palette. But I kind of see why they couldn't be on the actual palette because the palette is like designed very beautifully and it has like all those graffitis around it. So it would be hard. But other than that, I love this collection so much that after this video, I'm actually thinking of taking my ass to Netflix and watching some DC because top secret, I haven't really watched many DC movies but those were my thoughts but before I go ahead and let you guys go like I mentioned in the beginning of this video this palette is gonna go in today's giveaway and this giveaway will end one week from today and my giveaway rules are pretty much all the same I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I love you guys so much and I'll see you all next time bye